So I'm like the kid that always did his homework at the last minute when he was in school. Ironically, I'm a teacher now, but um, I'm finishing up this project uh, for the uh, Life in the Day contest, 11.58 p.m. So kind of cutting it close, but you know what? I finished. Um, I did a painting, and um, I actually did a portrait. I wanted to document my face on um, 11.58 not for vanity reasons or anything like that, but uh, I'm an artist, and um, that's what artists do. Uh, we document our lives visually, and um, yeah, it, it, no different today than any other day. But I did a self-portrait, and I don't do that every day. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy it. Here's the video. So since I did a self-portrait, I figured um, instead of doing uh, the usual narration about techniques, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. I've been getting some interesting comments and I've been wanting to do a few uh, vlogs uh, in responses to some of the comments. Uh, l let me tell you my story, just how I got into art. I don't know if this is going to make the movie. I doubt that it will, but that's okay. At least you'll get to know me. Um, I, I started drawing when I was uh, 20 years old. Um, I was forced to take a class when I was in college and I, I tried to get out of it. I tried to get every signature while I was at uh, Manhattanville College that I could so that I yeah, didn't have to, you know, pay the money for a class. Little did I know that class would change my life and I would become an artist. Uh, so that was in the uh, summer of 1999. Uh, I'm 31 years old right now. I was uh, 20 at the time. Uh, and uh, whatchamacallit, it, it, it was... Um, it was the next year, uh, no, I'm sorry, it was a year and a half later, um, in 2001, that I actually started my teaching career. Now, I, I had only been doing art for like about, uh, you know, a year, year and a half uh, when I started teaching. That was tough. Uh, and I wound up uh, working in some pretty great schools uh, over the years. And, um, you know, I, I had some wonderful students. Um, and I've taught art for a total of eight years. But here's the problem. The past, uh, the three of the past four years, um, my position that I've had has been cut back in my schools. So next year, I am starting a career as a, well, starting, I guess, my second career as a special education teacher. And that's, of course, in addition to the YouTube stuff. Uh, the inspiration behind my YouTube channel is really to uh, continue teaching art and you know no matter what I'm gonna do art I'm an artist um, I guess I do the special ed to pay the bills uh, and you know I have a little one now I got a uh, almost a two-year-old at home so uh, that played heavily into my decision I think it w if it was a few years ago I would have said no I'm just gonna keep going uh, you know trying for another art job but um, you know what it, everything changes when you have kids and, uh, you know, I'm trying to do the responsible thing, but, uh, you better believe it. YouTube, uh, I'm, I'm planning on, you know, teaching as much as I can because I love both creating art and teaching art. You know, both are very important to me. Um, that's the big part of the speech. Now, now I'm going to start digging for stuff to say. Um, let's see. Oh, kind of have me stumped here. Uh, I, I could always talk about techniques, but eh, like I said, I, I would, um, I'm going to keep it on me for this project. Um, oh, the first class that I took in college was a, a painting class. Some of you guys out there, um, you know, I've, so, I've seen your comments. You're like, how do you do that? And, you know, I'm very flattered. Um, but I, I don't think I would have stayed with art if I didn't take painting before drawing. The reason for that is because uh, you can always uh, edit things. And, you know, I'm doing kind of a painting now. I've changed the process quite a bit to speed things up because, uh, man, my life is busy right now. Um, I'll save that for the next point. Uh, but, yeah, painting, any time that you work with uh, paint, it's opaque. You can cover over what you paint as many times as you want. Uh, I'm an editor, not like editor as in somebody who like goes over text and looks for mistakes, but I like to edit things. And, you know, erasers, you're very limited. You know, you're always going to like damage the page. But paint, yeah, again, you know, maybe you'll build up some texture that'll be annoying to paint over, but, um, you know, you, you will, um, you can edit your mistakes. And my whole entire point 
between that uh, for that story is um, I, I really don't think that I would have uh, stayed with art if I didn't do painting first. I'll go as far to say I, I, in my drawing classes, my first year taking art when I was 20 years old, I got C's in those classes. Those were some very generous C's also. Um, I, 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 you guys compliment my drawing all the time, and I'm you know very flattered and happy about that. If you look really closely, you can't exactly draw a straight line. So uh, I can shade very well. I'm, I'm, com I'm very comfortable with that. But um, in, in terms of line quality, if I ever took a class to this day and I had a teacher that's like nuts about line quality, don't think I would do too well. Um, so there's that. Um, oh, okay. So I was uh, going to say the next point was, why did I change this process? I, I got, uh, you know, good at painting. Um, why did I change this process? Life gets busy, and uh, it took. It, uh, I've actually worked on paintings for three months, uh, one single painting for three months, and I just couldn't do that uh, anymore. Um, you know, with uh, I just don't have the time, and I started messing around, and it, it was um, actually in the classes that I taught. Um, when I taught 40-minute classes, I couldn't teach them painting because, like, set up and clean up, I mean, that would take 20 minutes out of it. Um, and I taught middle school kids, and I know that I messed around when I was in middle school, so um, it was kind of impractical to teach painting. So what I did was I got uh, markers and got colored pencils. Dry supplies, easy to clean up. You just put them into a bin. And, you know, I would have the kids... First, you know, do a pencil drawing, then fill it in with marker, then fill it in with color pencil. reason I recommended that is I know what makes paint magical, and it's the depth. It's the layering to it. And, you know, we only had time for like two layers, but I taught some very, very uh, talented students over the years. And, um, you know, they really showed me something with that technique. This is not a BS story. Um, yeah, I saw this as... A huge possibility and I wanted to see what I could do with my own work and I was getting home um, you know I, this was like around the time that I uh, started dating my wife now uh, she wasn't my wife then but um, you know I didn't have much time I still wanted to draw and I started doing it and you know it, it, it just felt natural so I continued with that um, and now you know I added uh, a layer of oil paint I noticed uh, or I'd like to say discovered that um, you know you can put a layer of oil paint o over um, colored pencil and it'll blend really really well. So I'd like to say I'm the discoverer of that. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Um, one thing about this painting. Oh, see, I'm talking about the painting instead of me. One thing about this painting, um, I kind of feel like it's. I mean, I like it. I, I kind of feel like it's not finished. Um, I, I always talk about the layers with painting. I love to finish with uh, glazing layers. If you looked at my uh, videos that I've made, I, I, I didn't only make one video on glazing, I made two. So maybe the next video, maybe the follow-up to this is the glazes because, um, I mean, if you really want to get, like, perfect skin tones, yeah, you know, paint that looks just like skin, you got to glaze. Uh, and, of course, glazing is um, small thin layers of uh, translucent to transparent paint layered on top of each other. Um, I did this in um, like about two hours and I started late uh, and you know I, I couldn't glaze because it's it's too uh, wet right now. The painting is actually drying as I speak uh, but you know after a few days when it dries then I could start adding a few more layers and I think I'll document that for those of you who haven't seen my glazing videos. But this is the fastest I've ever done a self-portrait. Hmm. Kind of wish that I uh, added on my uh, other self-portraits. Maybe I'll I'll do that. Um, you know, so that you can see somewhat of a progression. You should should have seen the stuff that I did uh, when I first started. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it wasn't too good. But you know, I, I it, art was something that I was really interested in, and I was willing to invest my time in it. And it's you know, it's gotten better. So let's see. Uh, I'm totally out of stuff to say. I'm totally stumped for once. 
Um, you guys could always ask me questions. Um, I try my best to answer uh, as many questions as I can. I'm starting to get 50 to 100 comments per day. Um, I promise you I will do my best uh, in answering them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've really enjoyed, uh, you know, posting stuff on YouTube. Uh, and, you know, when somebody says, you know, I've helped them, yeah, that's a great feeling. And again, there's a lot of motivation behind that. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy teaching special ed, but, um, you know, my heart is always going to be teaching art. And I think someday I'm going to get a chance to do that again. But, um, you know, for the time being, it's YouTube. So, hey, I'm on a mission. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, you know, leave me any comments and questions. All right, take care.